Many people have asked me, even in the Facebook, we expected to have more casual time. It would have been a casualty for you. <laughs> Casual time with Sadashiva? Understand? During that whole 25 days, I was completely in Turiya. I was seeing you with 1,000 heads and 1,000 third eyes. Literally burning you. All your incompletions, your blind spots. If I open my mouth, you will not be able to handle. Understand? Many times you expect only consolation from my words, not solution. You expect consolation, not solution. Teachings are given for a poor man. Cognitions are given for a middle class man. Ferociousness is given for a rich disciple. Rich means who is loyal. If anybody shakes seeing the ferociousness, I'll never show the ferociousness again. They'll be moved to middle class. But that's the worst punishment. Ferociousness is never a punishment. Being around him and have not tasted his ferociousness is the punishment. Being around him and not tasted his punishment, his ferociousness is the punishment. Real punishment is unattended, just left, forgotten. Even sometimes names are not remembered. That is punishment, not ferociousness. Just before the session started, we were having discussion. A group of sannyasis were standing around me, Adinavasis, and asking some questions. Swamiji, everyone expected a little more casual time, casual sitting in the Mahasadashivaham. Are you don't understand the space I was in, the space I was radiating. Any problem, I will be giving a direct solution which people are not ready to receive. When somebody comes to me saying, my husband is not your devotee, he doesn't want to listen to your satsang, he doesn't want to come to MSS, she expects me to support her, saying you are right, your husband is wrong, he need to have a little more sense about life, to come to me and all that. But that is not the true answer. If I give the straight answer, she will never again come to any of my program and never again remember me. I will tell you, it is your unmanifest. Suppressed components expresses as your husband. So work on you. This is a much decent answer. The answer actually cannot be. Sadashiva's answer cannot be spoken at all. Forget about casual time. This is the first time even in energy darshan. 95% of the questions I gave only smile as answer. 
see the video 95 percent of the questions let us i just gave smile as answer i know if i open my mouth this fellow will not be here for the next day session <laughs> because with the 25 head with the 25 third eyes i am seeing him everyone's letter and the hypocrisy behind the letter and hypocrisy behind their diagnosis and hypocrisy behind the whole thing if i had the casual time second day third day sessions would have been over not a single fellow would have been in the mss program for the third day <laughs> not single one even the my own adina so called adinavasis and sanyasis who are standing and talking to me i was talking with them in a very edited 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 way on sanyasi asked me about this ferociousness i was answering her suddenly i gave an example somebody is somebody comes to me and asks my father has a cancer please heal him i'll say get his photograph if he says no i don't have a photograph i'll say all right close your eyes and remember him i'll heal him through you i'll heal that father through this person but the kind of the energy i need to transmit to complete somebody through this person this person's nervous system doesn't handle healing i can just directly send it without this person's nervous system supporting me but completion if the same person comes to me and asks i want to complete with my wife or husband i want them to make you as my devotees as your devotees the kind of a completion i need to infuse into this body to reach that body and complete this person will not be able to handle the sanyas you asked me in our own family member there is somebody who needs my healing but i cannot send it through her nervous system to that person because our nervous system is not that strong where i can penetrate her nervous system and reach out to that person and i cannot tell also because if i tell even that self analysis will only be through the root of the guilt not through the root of powerfulness understand when you are shown your problem you choose guilt to hide not ferociousness to solve guilt is the best way to escape from me and be beaten by life the moment you choose guilt when you are shown your problems which you choose the guilt kala kala leaves you to kala 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 says you please adopt her him so kala adopts you death adopts you the only solution is i make you all go on manifesting more and more powers and powers makes you rich and out of that richness you royally become integrated to tell you honestly that is the methodology arunagiri yogeshwara used on me never had a problem with arunagiri yogeshwara never he needed to scream at me today morning i was talking to one of my sanyasi and analyzing some of the common problems kailash vasis go through i have decided to address all you guys as adi kailash vasis <laughs> it's adi kailasa no more just adinam adi kailasam some of the kailashwasis 
the common problems they go through i was telling her what is the reason i did not go through all that because arunagiri yogeshwara straight made me rich by giving me powers so it was a right trial way of manifesting integrity i never have to struggle towards integrity i never needed to it was always power manifestation i think that's a royal way to make you integrated constantly manifesting more and more of oneness more and more of power manifestation more and more of strength more and more of powerfulness integrity follows powerfulness i tell you honestly power manifestation and powerful cognition manifestation makes you integrated integrity never makes you manifest powers that's a truth don't expect by practicing integrity you will manifest powers that i don't know how many janmas it will take and you will always pick up guilt as a buffer whenever you miss integrity not ferociousness see if you miss integrity for example you miss morning yoga or morning puja you pick up guilt not ferociousness as a first response if you pick up ferociousness as first response then you manifest powerful cognitions and power when i missed morning yoga or morning puja once in ramakrishna mat when i was brahmachari i decided next day onwards i will not sleep that's all i just tied my shika into the cot and we have a my room at brahmachari as a live witness still he talks about it i have decided not to sleep did not bother about all this medical sciences <sighs> you don't sleep body will be there away collapse muscles will melt down and you will go crazy <laughs> today's kandapanayanars guru puja everyone uses kandapanayanar story not to follow agama and to eat non veg drink alcohol fellow if you have a kind of a devotion to pluck both your eyes and offer to mahadeva you play kannapas role or up and keep quiet and play sonnapas role now everyone uses kannapas story to eat meat and not to follow agama why kannapur was like that but sadashiva graced him but what was the space he was in his power manifestation and powerful cognition manifestation made him follow integrity not that he followed integrity and then reached powers so i feel more and more of power manifestation more and more getting comfortable with ferociousness of mahadevas thousands of third eyes understand wherever you are you are directly under his third eye everything life teaches is directly he teaching this is the first program where for 95 per, i could i can comfortably say even 98% of the questions energy session time
three four page letter they may be thinking i have not read fellow you don't know i read all 10 layers behind this letter the letter and the problem the problem's length dimension breadth dimension depth dimension time dimension and space dimension and you you are interesting whole thing i opened and saw and the answer is and one more thing if you label me as a bad person because of my ferociousness you will stop manifesting powers the initiations will stop happening to you you will stop my energy working on you that is the main reason why i did not sit for casual sessions i was burning as mahadeva महासदा शिवा टू ब्राइट लाइट फॉरगेट अबाउट आई डिड नॉट कैशुअली टॉक टू महासदा शिव होम पार्टिसिपेंट्स एस मई आदि निवासी द ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज ईवन द पीपल वेर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ मी आई डिड नॉट टॉक टू दम एस दम आई गो टू द रूम जस्ट shut my mouth and close my eyes and rest the body whole day will not talk to anybody because anybody ask any questions mahadeva is going to answer <laughs> this fellows they will have a nervous breakdown ha <laughs> they will have a nervous breakdown see that it is not just 25 days around 60 days it was a heavy radiation of mahasada shiva this time it was very literal even body was burning the whole body was just manifesting the intense powerfulness and heat and only then i said all right let me settle down so i went to thirunamalai to settle down solution for the heat is the heat heat burns the heat <laughs> so arunachala is the agni went and just rested in the agni and body got healed actually i am going to pour that heat and make this mahasada shyoham aushada on 31st night chandra grahana and also a special homa is going to be done chandra grahana punya kala shiva astra mahashanti homa specially for all the mahasada shyoham participants All Mahasada Shiva participants, please do not miss this. Either be here physically in Adi Kailasa, or at least attend through online. Don't miss. I am actually literally going to put this fire and make that aushada. what i take out of my body to settle my body if i put that in your body you will go up that's all so that's a simple logic what i am taking out of me to settle me i'm going to put it in you to raise you that's it that's exactly i'm going to put it in the mahasada shyoham aushada <laughs>